Is IPS black really the future of IPS technology? Does it really offer deeper blacks, better contrast ratio and less IPS glow? We've got with us one of the first IPS black monitors to be released, so we're going to test it and we're going to find out. IPS or in-plane switching has been the go-to panel technology for many people for a lot of years now. It's got wide viewing angles and an excellent overall picture quality, but it's often criticised for its poor blacks and its poor contrast ratio. The contrast ratio specs are stuck at around 1000 to 1 and have been for many years, nowadays easily being surpassed by VA technology panels and of course OLED. LG Display are one of the main manufacturers of IPS type panels and their answer to this is their latest generation of IPS called IPS Black. They presented this at CES in January 2022 where they promoted the supposed 35% deeper blacks and the double contrast ratio of traditional IPS panels. They also showcased a 27 inch 4K panel at the event to demonstrate this new technology to consumers. We know from our LG Display Roadmap articles that there are currently two panel options that are in production now and have been since early 2022. There's a 27 inch 4K panel from CES, but also a 31.5 inch 4K option as well. We've got with us today the Dell Ultrasharp U3223QE, which is the first monitor to be released with this new IPS Black technology. It's a 31.5 inch size screen with a 4K resolution, wide color gamma, and a range of features for enhancing productivity. You can check out our full review of the screen in the links below, but for now, for this video, we wanted to just test the IPS Black panel specifically, see how it performs and how it compares with other IPS panels. This particular display has an advertised 2000 to 1 contrast ratio, twice that of most IPS type monitors on the market. For the testing, we compared the Dell display with its IPS Black panel against three other IPS type displays, each with a different flavor of IPS technology from different panel manufacturers. There's the EVE Spectrum 4K with its traditional LG Display IPS panel, the Cooler Master GM32FQ with its BOE ADS panel, that's also IPS type, and then there's also the Nixius NX EDG 27240X, which has an AU Optronics AHVA panel, their alternative to IPS. All of these screens are competing versions of IPS type technology, so we're going to see how the IPS black panel compares right now. We ran measurements of each screen and compared the results first of all for black depth and contrast ratio. To keep things consistent, we calibrated each screen to the same luminance, gamma and colour temperature. There's a clear winner here, and it's the new IPS black panel with a contrast ratio of nearly 2000 to 1 is pretty much double that of all the competing IPS type technologies we've compared here. They can at best manage around 1100 to 1, so the IPS black panel here from the Dell screen easily surpasses that. The contrast ratio was 74% higher in fact than the closest competitor, so clearly there's been a major improvement here in this technology which is great to see. Here's a comparison of the contrast ratio of various displays we've tested over the years in different panel technologies. You've got IPS on the left, then a couple of OLED screens in the middle, a couple of TN film screens, and then on the right hand side some VA panels. You can see that the Dell U3223QE stands out from the other IPS models and has a significantly improved contrast ratio. This is actually in the range of many of the VA panels we've tested over the years as well, so it's really quite impressive. We also carried out some visual tests in a dark room environment to see how blacks looked on the screen from a range of viewing positions. As a reminder, the four screens were calibrated to the same brightness and settings. So this will give you an idea of the comparative normal black level, as well as the level of IPS glow you get when viewing the screen from an angle. There could be some backlight uniformity issues on some models, which could vary from sample to sample. But what we're trying to compare here is the appearance of the black when viewed from different viewing positions. First up, we can compare the IPS black panel from the Dell against the older IPS panel from the EVE Spectrum 4K screen. Both are from LG Display. You can see that from the head-on viewing position, the appearance looks much better here on the Dell, with deeper blacks and a darker image. The view from a wider angle is a bit better on the Dell, with a slightly less pale glow than the older panel, 
But to be honest, we were hoping for a little bit more here really from the Dell IPS black panel. It didn't really live up to the expectations quite as much as we'd hoped. Compared with the Cooler Master display, which has a BOE ADS panel, you can see the deeper blacks from the head-on viewing position again from the Dell, thanks to that improved contrast ratio. From an angle, the BOE panel showed a more pale blue colour glow, which was more pronounced than the Dell display in this instance. Finally, there's a comparison with the AU Optronics AHVA panel of the Nixia screen. From a head-on viewing position, again, the Dell's blacks look deeper, and the off-angle glow is probably a bit better too, the main difference being that there is a pinkish colour tint to the AU Optronics panel as well, which degrades the image further, while the glow of the brightness is pretty similar on both models. We were impressed overall with the IPS black technology, to be honest. Clearly there's been big improvements with black depth and contrast ratio, and they're living up to the specs that they've marketed so far. We would have liked to have seen a great improvement with the off-angle IPS glow, as there weren't really any major advances in that area, only minor improvements. Perhaps future generations of IPS Black will improve this, or perhaps LG Display will combine it with a polarizer film designed to improve this area. Let us know what you think of these measurements and whether you are excited about IPS Black panels in the comments section below. At the moment, the only two IPS Black panels are 27 inch and 31.5 inch. Both have only a 60 Hertz refresh rate. We know what you're gonna ask next, when are there going to be high refresh rate IPS black panels available? We don't really have an answer to that, I'm afraid. If they prove popular, we would expect there to be high refresh rate versions at some point, but right now there's nothing on the roadmaps that we've seen. What about other panel manufacturers? We haven't seen anything yet announced from AU Optronics, but BOE actually have their own competing true black technology planned. They have IPS type panels in various sizes planned for production during 2022, so look out for more information on those on the main site. There's some links in the description below to our latest information about these BOE True Black panels. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up below. That's really appreciated and will massively help. Let us know in the comments below what you think about IPS Black and if you consider a monitor based on this technology in the future. Don't forget to subscribe as well for future videos and more content from us.